Hello, my name's Paul Haig. I've just about finished the restoration of a Lotus Land Series 2. Um, there's a few bits and pieces still to finish off, but one thing I wanted to check um, was the rear tracking. If the rear tracking is not correct on these cars, then it can really upset the handling. So that's what this video is going to cover, rear tracking. Now these are tracking gauges that Neil's very kindly lent me, and I've used them um, to check the tracking on the front which is pretty easy to set up and adjust. And I've also used them to check the tracking on the back, um, which is a different kettle of fish because there's no adjustment. But nonetheless, it needs to be correct. Um, if it's not correct, then it can really upset the handling. Uh, maybe a quick diagram is required and a quick look at the manual as well. So a quick diagram as promised. So there's the front of the car with the front wheels towing in and here's the rear of the car with the front wheels towing in um, so these are adjustable and you can set it about the center you can make it even with the steering wheel but the rear there's no adjustment on so they are measured between the two wheels and I could see that they were towing but of course it could be that there's for example tow out on this wheel and more than you might expect tow in on this wheel which would be horrible um, I'm sure the handling would be pretty bad because the back of the car would constantly be trying to steer in one direction so the ideal is to have oops, back to the original drawing um, even towing on the rear wheels um, the book let's just have a quick look at the, the manual so here we go the specification uh, correct rear wheel towing. Uh, uh, what does that say? It says three sixteenths of an inch to zero in that list. And there's also a diagram. Let me show you the diagram. So in this uh, rear suspension section of the manual, and it's on this drawing that's of the rear suspension, it says here, towing overall one sixteenth of an inch plus or minus one sixteenth of an inch, i.e can be plus one eighth toe in overall or can be nil toe in overall and then at the bottom positively no toe out so it could be that they are perfectly aligned and have no toe in at all or some toe in up to that maximum value but definitely not towing out so what we've got here to check the uh, rear tracking is we've got a box section of aluminium which has got two holes in that locate on two of the drive pegs and um, this red bracket is just using the spinner nut to hold the box section tight. We've also got a clamp in addition just to make sure um, so pretty happy that the box section is nicely sitting on the hub and then that projects forward and we can measure against the front hub oh, now you'll see that the front hubs are fully drooped down so in fact this will be um, further towards the center of the car than it would be because the suspension is drooped slightly nonetheless what I'm really trying to do at the moment is just to see how even that um, dimension is between uh, the face of the rear hub and the face of this front hub on full droop and of course I've got to have the steering point forward as well so I can compare each side because I've already measured the tracking at the back and I know between the wheels it's got more or less the right amount of track towing in um, so I just want to know if that's dis distributed evenly um, or whether it's all biased to one side or even could it be towing out on one side and towing in on the other side at the back. So that's the plan. So I'm going to make that measurement and then swap it onto the other side and I'll let you know the outcome. Um, good friend Richard made this setup by the way. Um, very good engineer. Oh, and I've got the rear suspension supported so that 
Uh, there's no droop on the rear suspension that is at its normal ride height. Okay, so I have it on the other side now and if I go around to the front you'll see that it is different. Well, on the other side, um, the edge of this was slightly inboard by about four millimetres and this side it's slightly outside by mm. I need a light, hang on. So let's see again. Right now. So slightly outboard by mm. looks like something like eight millimetres. I'll get a proper photograph of that so I can see it properly. So I now need to work out if they're both towing in. Um, and if one if this side is towing out slightly or not so i may need to measure the track at the front and the back we'll see okay i'll report back so to understand this uh, rear tow uh, a bit more i've decided i need to measure the rear track and the front track with the car at its normal ride height so i've got the rear hub supported on blocks of wood and I've made a caliper it goes across the other side and I'm going to measure and I'm measuring at the bottom centre line at the bottom and then I'll see if I can get to the top see if it's any different because there might be a bit of camber on it mm. we'll here is my amazing tracking gauge it's done the job um, I just fixed one side and then screwed the other side in place um, with two screws and then measured across up at the top um, at the front and the rear and um, the result of that is good I think so let me refocus so the rear is wider than the front the rear was definitely at normal ride height the front I would say is still was slightly high, the car, the body was high, so I think the hubs were slightly inboard, but only slightly. Um, and looking at the book, so let me bring the book. You can see the front track there, 11, 96.1, and the rear, 12.30.3 uh, millimetres. Um, so the rear is wider than the front, which I'm told is different on the later um, Series 4 or Sprint. I'm not sure about the Series 3. Um, but you'll notice my numbers don't match either. And that's because I'm measuring on the faces that the wheels mate against, where the drive pegs are. Whereas these are about the centre line of the wheels. So there's a difference between where the hub is and where the centre of the wheel is. Um, so you'd expect to get something like similar difference, but I don't get quite the same difference between the two. Nonetheless, um, the good news is, because the rear is wider than the front, as I was measuring the tracking and I've rechecked again, um, I'm pretty sure when I calculate it out properly that I will have toe in on both rear wheels. Marvellous. So I will check that. Um, so I measured the track as we've seen and I re-measured um, the difference. So this line at an angle is representing the aluminium bar and the small difference here is the difference between the hub and the metal bar. And here's my rear track that I measured and front track. So I've got a difference of 26 millimetres, so 13 mil each side plus the three and a half, 16 and a half mil. That's the distance between the rear axle and the front axle, according to the book. I didn't measure it. That's the angle I'm interested in, my toe in. So back to maths at school. So tangent of that angle is opposite over adjacent, 16 and a half over that. So that number, so the inverse tangent, 0.443 of a degree toe in and the other side similar except my aluminium bar was outside of the hub by four and a half mil um, this is when I had the front suspension supported slightly um, so my front track was measured at the same time 
So a difference eight and a half millimeters. So 0.28228 for degree, about half what's on the other side. So towing in, um, not evenly. I'm not going to make any adjustments. Um, I'm going to drive it and see how it feels. So there we are. Tow in, definitely no tow out. Hurrah!